Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. In today's episode we're going to have a look at the June 2021 Power Apps update. This is a, a monthly video that I make and I essentially look at the Power Apps blog, see what I see there, kind of look at the release plan and also look at the, the Power Apps community call which runs uh, once a month which I'm going to link in the uh, box below but I always uh, learn a lot from those calls, um, especially in kind of new things that are going on. So I also uh, I bring that in as well um, in order to show you, show you all. Um, so to start with, let's look at the, the blog. There's, there's quite a few different uh, ones that were in the blog this month, but I just concentrate on a couple of them. So there's five here. So I'm gonna actually head over um, to the actual uh, blog sites to, to have a look at them. So the first one here is this improved um, look at table permissions in the portal studio. So of course, when you have a Power Apps uh, portal, you wanna give uh, permissions to the different tables so that your users can uh, see, read, write, uh, depending on that. And there's a new UI now, and you can see how simple it is here. Uh, so you can group by role, table, um, and then you can also kind of uh, do a new table permission and actually set the different access rights that you want to give to that so the different privileges can be set um, and you can kind of add that role as well once you've added the table permission so yep very uh, much more simplified um, this one's quite an interesting one the second one here is renaming your uh, your action based data sources so previously you couldn't rename um, these action based based uh, data sources so like a flow or something that's calling something, um, but now you can, which is pretty cool. So you can make that a different name, especially if you have various connectors and you have like an old and a new and you're getting confused because um, you may add a connector kind of after the first time you add it. And so that's quite useful. Uh, the modern app designer. Um, so this is a new way of uh, model driven apps and it almost looks like a canvas app, which is pretty cool. I mean actually was uh, kind of playing around with it a little bit here and if I go to power apps now and then click on new app and then I click on model driven app I actually now get two options so I get the model app designer or the classic um, of course this is the one that's in preview so I can click create on that give that a name and then from there on uh, on the left hand side it literally makes me think like I'm, I'm in a canvas up right now um, but I can click on new page so I can either get table based view or form or I can do a dashboard and yeah completely revolutionizing revolutionizing I uh, can't say the word <laughs> I'm changing the way um, that we actually build these applications continuing on the canvas app settings have a fresh fresh new look um, so actually head over to a, a, can, a Canvas app that I have here. Um, so this is just a, um, a demo app that I was using. But if I go into the settings now, you can see it's completely changed um, the way that it is. If you were used to the other way of it being, um, so yeah, it's just a little bit slicker now. Um, it looks a bit neater as well. The last one here is the Power App extension for VS Code. Uh, it's just now gone into public preview. Um, so if you are using that, that is now in public preview. And then the, the Power Apps um, latest updates actually before I go on to there. Um, I couldn't actually see anything here for uh, June. So I'm here for uh, Power Apps uh, 2021 release, play, uh, release plan one. Um, and we'll just have a look at Oh, yep. So there are a couple here. So you've got advanced lookup capabilities in model driven apps. You've got uh, converging canvas into model driven apps with a custom page. And so those are the, the two there. So the advanced lookup um, basically helps people uh, searching for ro uh, rows in a table based on views and search results in a view. So you can do you can actually do the lookup on any lookup column there and converging canvas into model driven apps with a custom page that you can actually create now. Um, and so, yeah, you can see that, you know, it's really coming together, model and canvas, that the lines are blurring slightly now. The, uh, com the community call this month was um, incredible. The first person we had was Krishna, 
who uh, talked about the COE for Dataverse for Teams. So the Centre of Excellence toolkit, um, of course, we can use um, outside of Teams, and that's primarily where it started from. But now within Teams, he did a presentation on the various things that you can do within Teams, so the core components, the Power BI dashboard, governance, innovation backlog, and nurture components. So yeah, really cool to see actually working in Teams, and I'm going to link the actual video below so you can have a look at that yourself. And then Teraho did a, a component a demo with the planner Gantt chart. Uh, incredible. Uh, essentially, you can put in uh, various uh, plans that you have in place, and then it essentially looks at those tasks and shows, so shows them across a uh, timeline. Um, and so if, if you've ever kind of played around with Gantt charts on, on different sites and even within PowerPoint sometimes, we can have seen it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool that you can you can use that. And uh, May has, was definitely my favourite. She built this escape room of Bower Apps. Pretty cool. Uh, she showed how she kind of created it with various kind of hide and show and timers. Yeah, it just shows how much you can take the, the Bower platform and, and really just stretch it into something really, really fun. And last I'd heard is straight from the community call, a um, few different resources that you can use. Um, and yeah, and, and the Gantt chart uh, resources are there as well. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. Don't, hit, don't forget to hit subscribe and see you on the next one.